<coughs> my people, I'm back again. <coughs> and I always talk of my previous video, say, Bola Ahmed Tunubu would not come to Nigeria to save us. He did not come to Nigeria to 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 help us from what is is um is what Buhari did. All the destruction that Buhari did for this country is not here to to soften it. It's just here to worsen the matter. The first day of his inauguration, the the country scattered. Everything went up. Both price of fuel, food, um, uh, money exchange. Everything, everything went up. Presently now, he's owing staffs. It it has his his inauguration was not up to it's not up to two months. He's owing staffs. And if you stay connected to this to the end of, end of this show, so now go hear what what is happening in this country in the end of this show for this analysis. Stay connected to the end. See you soon. God bless you. The hope of crime scene is happening in the street again. The center of political news, celebrity gossip, religious gossip, and happiness in the society. Join us, the voice of Africa. Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome you back to Lajupot TV show. If you are new to this show, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the like button, the bell beside it, and also drop your comment in the comment section so that YouTube will notify you anytime we drop any other video into the channel. Yes, before I play this video, I want to say some things that if you still believe that um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu is your president and is there to save us from poverty, from the, destru the destruction of Nigeria, I believe that I have to say this to you that you are wrong. Because, you know, this man is there. This man is there to terrorize Nigerians. This man is there to to take away from us all our struggles, all our all our all our stress, all our hard workings. He's just there to harvest it all. Just just look at what is happening in the country. Just um, between two months, between his inauguration to now to now this is why we are in first of july look at what is, what what has happened look at look at what has happened in, in in nigeria people can't fend for themselves again people are struggling people are working extra miles but but they are still seeing nothing see see the city see the city see the, see the, um federal workers after all their work, after all their stress, and you are still delaying their payment, and you just you just become the president of Nigeria, and everything is like this. Is it when is it when um things are now seriously bad? That's when you now know that I I I want, I want, I want to save Nigeria. This man is not dead. This man is not dead. That's obedient out there. Just stay connected to the end of this show so that now go here waiting this analysis talk this video just stay connected to the end of this show see you it is important that we speak about it as much as we can the european union just concluded their report on the 2023 elections in nigeria and they had very terrible things to say about the elections but let me quickly say this year's salah celebration was marred by very serious inflation in nigeria and non-payment of salaries across the country as i speak to you most federal civil servants are yet to receive salaries and you cannot help but feel sorry for nigerians as they continue to wallow in poverty with little or no serious consideration from politicians you know they just pulled out fuel subsidy and there is an astronomical rise in the prices of goods and services yet salaries are being delayed 
and it's just so pathetic transport costs have doubled and tripled and quadrupled in some cases and this period of holidays is when people usually seize the opportunity to travel to see their loved ones that they haven't seen in so many years but look at what is happening people cannot even travel because of the cost of transportation and right back in their homes they cannot really treat their families to nice meals especially the civil servants because salaries are being delayed and this is just very very terrible very pitiful situation going on in this country right now and still on the salary celebration, Tinubu traveled to Ogun State during the holidays. And there he made a statement that shocked many Nigerians and that got many Nigerians asking some serious questions. He said, I summoned Ogun spirits against a Mephiele's Naira scarcity policy that threatened my presidential ambition. Wow. He said the Naira scarcity policy threatened his presidential ambition i know this is not the first time we are hearing it and nigerians began to ask questions this one said does this speak good or bad how on earth did the redesigning of naira affect him this is to show he already had plans to buy votes with stocked cash hmm. and this one said naira presidential ambition what is the relationship <laughs> and this tweet said how did the new cash policy threaten his ambition and that is a question that many nigerians have asked and of course we all know that the man is clearly talking about vote buying he's clearly saying he had money stocked up to buy votes but immediately through the naira redesigning frustrated that attempt and it's so pathetic that we have all these kind of things thrown at our faces in nigeria and there is nothing that the common man can do about it but we are just hoping that this time around things will be different now on to the european union's report on the 2023 presidential election see as the paper stake reporter european union says nigerian police ignore thugs disrupting and wrecking havoc during the 2023 general elections but clamped down on journalists helping to report and take evidence of violence during the elections mm. law enforcement agencies failed to prosecute persons who attacked intimidated and harassed or obstructed journalists prior to on and, and after both election days the eu reported in a viral video on March 16th, Musilio Akinsoya, MC Oluomo, threatened Igbos who will not vote for his party, the All Progressive Congress, to stay indoors during the March 18th governorship election. And in crude enforcement of MC Oluomo's threats, APC thugs roamed freely on Lagos streets, threatening those who will not vote for the APC from coming out to exercise their civil duty the people gazette reported the eu also debunked claims that the nigerian 2023 election was free and fair saying the elections were marred by violence and bloodshed with at least 74 persons killed in 101 violent incidents now this is the eu's report on our elections and this is the eu telling us that our police looked away while thugs were unleashing mayhem on the people and what this means for nigeria is that that institution the police force is now being used by political parties to wreak havoc on the people and my question is what about the judiciary if the police allows itself to be used as tools is the judiciary not going to prize itself out of the hands of these politicians my reason for reading all these things is to let us know that this is the position of nigeria now police now don't go join politicians they don't they use them they rig election scenes and they say they will continue to the duam now judiciary are you not moved are you not touched that your country is in this state and the people are screaming all eyes on the judiciary just by doing the right thing you can save the country from destruction
just by making the right pronouncements and how difficult is it these things are already in the constitution these are constitutional provisions it just remains for you to follow the laws this country needs his excellency peter will be more than ever before because as i talk to you now no system is working in nigeria and what does the future hold if you go to the comment section of this eu report and you see the kind of guile the kind of anger with which nigerians were commenting about the nigerian police you know that so many nigerians especially young people have given up on the nigerian police some said they knew since that this is how the police force has always been so imagine a country where young people have given up on the police and now they are looking onto the judiciary to do the right thing judiciary unagostigo kolem money do wuru wuru what then is the hope of your country and when this injustice continues if you throw the country into anarchy into chaos he go touch everybody because when the people see the truth they see black and people in charge of the law people who are supposed to translate custodians of the constitution who are supposed to translate the law can't turn the law upside down can they call black white they call white blue then what you are telling young people is that there's no dignity in truth is that honor is nothing that is what you are telling young people and you are telling them to continue on the wrong paths with the day on that that is how to make it in nigeria but that is wrong and that is why we are warning we are saying all eyes on the judiciary make una do the right thing now make it for good for all of us judiciary the ball is in your court play it well but until then <laughs> yes my people now don't use na yeah yeah within the half of nigeria the analysis of everything that is happening in nigeria what will you now say what will you say at this point at the point that everything has turned upside down at the point that corruption has taken over everything in nigeria there's nobody now that can't be paid that can't be bought with money see you can see you can see you can see what 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 europe union europe union for that matter are saying about this country you can see what they are saying about this country what will other countries be saying what do you what do you expect other countries out there be saying about nigerians now the dignity that we are supposed to 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 put to protect the honor that we are supposed to protect when a nigerian go out the uh, uh, outside the country go to other other country they will see they will see that that dirtiness they will see that corruption in them not knowing that it is the politicians not the not the people that are doing it youth are frustrated you 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 youth are youth are tired of this country a lot of people are running away from this country saying that ah, there's nothing they can do again that they have to they have to you know go a lot of people and I was just saying that you guys should please. We are telling the judiciary that you should please. No matter what may be the pay, no matter what may be anything, just please follow the law. And I know, I know that the, the, the judiciary might have been paid. I know that the judiciary, even sure, sure, they would have paid him but no matter the payments no matter the 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 money follow the law if you don't follow the law it will affect you it will affect your family it will affect your oncoming children it will affect future children follow the law nigeria is 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 if if nigeria continue like this in the night in the next five years i'm telling you this country will be something else a lot of people will be running away from this country 
because the 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 a lot of things if you are, if you, i said it again i'm saying it again that if you still believe that bola ahmed Tunubu is coming is 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 the savior of this country you are totally wrong you are totally wrong wrong about that because it's not coming to this country to save us it's coming to take away from us see 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 federal workers that have struggled they have also did they have work to get payment they are not being paid people see you in my next video and if you have not clicked the subscribe button click the subscribe button if you have not like this video like this video drop your comment in the comment section so that we can you know talk about what is happening in nigeria so that you can give us your relation and if you have put your comments in our shows see you in my next video god bless you god bless nigeria thank you for staying connected and like what tv show leave the message up and leave the message on your chat you so all we do on this channel is to bring to you the tickets to make a girl in america and outside america from the person of jimmy green and christmas to my business and we will love and play and all of that so we'll deal you with them that you have where you can come from them and also their percentage as well and guess what many of these programs they are really really coming through so just make sure you subscribe to this channel just to get more of the programs in your time guess what see you in the next video